Hey YouTubers, how do you like my new hat? Sweet. It's very uh, windy in here. How you guys doing? Uh, I just thought I'd do my daily vlog. I've been working at about 300% today because I'm doing discs, I'm making labels, I'm burning DVDs, I'm burning masters, I'm editing, and now I'm vlogging. So it is absolute chaos. The weather today sucks. It's dark and dingy and it was raining earlier. Luckily it stopped raining for a couple minutes so I could take Sam out for his walk. And uh, you probably heard that. I'm screwed. Um, so I'm just gonna go through some of the questions you guys asked yesterday because I said I will every once in a while, not all the time. Depends on what you ask and things like that. But I'll try and go through the questions almost like a almost like a live show, but you guys get to hear some responses. Like I said, it just depends on what you guys ask and if I have time to do it. And right now I have a little bit of time <clears throat> time while I'm waiting for some stuff to happen on my computer. Uh, Nick Wick said, you know, how's Ben liking his computer? Been looking into the gaming computer for himself. Uh, and, rough, and roughly how much was all that? It was around probably $2,400 Canadian for the whole kit um ben is paying me back for that i had to kind of upfront him the money so he's gonna be making video game uh, gameplays putting them up on youtube and then i'll be taking a cut of that um uh, but it's just something he really likes to do and he likes putting stuff on youtube and likes having fun with his friends and what a great way of uh doing that so thanks for that question um, Captain Akron 27, he said he wished he had Instagram. I think he can have Instagram. I've, I just posted back to him or responded back to him uh, on the, the feed and basically said, I think you can have Instagram on your computer and on your browser or whatever. And you can follow people on Instagram. You can like, you can comment, you can do all that stuff. But you need, I think you need a smartphone or a phone that takes pictures. And I, I guess it's only smartphones that do it. Um, James wants me to make my vlogs longer, so let's do that today. Ready? <laughs> there, it's a little bit longer. Uh, Rocky David wants to know what kind of push mower I have. Um, it's just a no name. It was like 200 and no, sorry, it wasn't even $200. I, I got like the cheapest mower I could get. Because uh, the last one we got, I think I spent like $350 on it. It lasted like 12 years at least. And, or way, I think more than that. Maybe it was longer than that. Wow. And it just all rusted out and the engine actually fell through the, uh, I think the engine was still good. But the engine and everything just fell right through the deck, as they call it. Because it just rusted all the way around. I always try to clean out my mower. Uh, one of the things I just learned about mowers is never tip them forward like this to clean out from underneath them you got to tip it backwards so push the handle down so it pops up like that uh, when you do it this way uh, oil can run out of the oil compartment chamber whatever and into the valves or into the exhaust system or something something happens and i stored it like that over the winter and it cost me like a hundred dollars to to have it all repaired and all that because i'm not like a, a handy dandy fixer upper type engine dude um, but that's the kind of more I have. So luckily I cut the lawn yesterday because today is today and tomorrow is supposed to be awful. Uh, tabletop modeler Chris said uh, that he, he he has the H4N Zoom uh, sound recorder and he says he loves it it's great it's, it's done him well so i'm glad I, I did some research on it and thanks for confirming that for me chris that i bought something good it's nothing worse than buying something that's not good um and again a lot of you guys told me how your day was going i am happy for that uh with you know rebecca's training day um and people just had good day all around which is awesome um let me say, uh, somebody else asked a question. Kimberly said, tell us about your acting career. Well, well, Kimberly, my acting career started off in, um, I guess, you know what's funny is through high school and stuff, I was, wasn't really interested in, I love watching other people do drama and all that. Uh, but when it came down to me doing it, uh, I just never signed up for it. I don't know why. 
but somewhere just after high school, maybe starting in college, I started getting really interested in comedy. I knew I could be funny. I knew I could stand on stage. I don't mind standing on stage in front of people. But, you know, Jim Carrey and John Candy, not that John Candy was a stand-up comedian, but he was a comedian. Um, uh, I don't know, Robin Williams, Jay Leno. I used to love watching Jay Leno's uh, monologue at the beginning of his show. And uh, so I thought I could do that too and I always wanted to be on The Tonight Show and, and be a guest there someday when I'm rich and famous like everybody else, right? Um, so... I started doing stand-up amateur nights at Yuck Yucks downtown Toronto and any of the other places I could find to do my stand-up. Um, I did it for about three years. I got to the point where I, you know, certain things would actually pay me to come and do comedy, which was awesome. Um, and then it just petered out, and then I just stopped doing it. But around that same time, I started, you know, I got a, an agent, got my my headshot done, and we would go out and 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 audition. She said I was the because of the way I looked, um, I was her number one actor that was sent out on auditions. Unfortunately, she said if she goes if you landed half the auditions I sent you to, she said you'd be you'd be doing really well. But for some reason, I would just I would not land the actual job uh, on this channel. There's a whole bunch of commercials. I would, one of the TV shows. I'm I'm I think I have the tape for it somewhere. But I was actually in uh, a show called The Sex Files, and it was a show about sex. So they talked about. I don't know why my right here is itchy, and I keep touching it. Sorry. Uh, the Sex Files was, I think, on the Discovery Channel, so I was really happy that I was on the Discovery Channel. Uh, my wife didn't, well, she didn't know anything about the show, and then we get a call for being on the Sex Files, and she was a little bit pissed that I got this job because she didn't know what I was going to be doing. And uh, it was all about hair and how sexual hair can be or not hair can be, and I was part of the not hair can be. So, uh, so I had this little scene uh, with this girl where we're just sitting in front of a fireplace and just looking at each other. Like that, and it was anyway. That was one of the funniest jobs. Um, and I also did a, a job where it was just my hand. So I always like to, to say is it was the first uh, hand job I ever had. Yeah. So I was a watch commercial, and I had to put my hand into quicksand, pull out a guy who would supposedly drowned in the or sunk in the quicksand, and I just but I just grabbed his watch, and uh, so I don't ever I never got the final version of it but as you can tell on this channel i have a whole bunch of commercials that i was in and back in the day i've actually been thinking about it. it'd be kind of new cool to get an agent again and see if uh, i could land some more new commercials but i'm having fun on youtube like this is cooler than almost any commercial i've ever been in so i've talked to people from around the world and people get to watch my videos from around the world if i do a commercial here it'll be a local commercial and only a certain amount of people will see it but when i do videos on youtube everybody in the world gets to see it anyway guys that's my vlog for today i think oh that was an eight minute vlog and that was just for you who wanted that one who wanted longer vlogs uh James. Was it James? Yes. There you go, James. There's an eight and a half minute vlog just for you. Let me know if you guys like the long vlogs, if you like me answering your questions. Uh, like I said, leave your comments in the comment section below. Let me know how your day is going. Let me know if you had a good day. My daughter is in Germany right now, and she said it went from uh, 30 degrees to hailing and crazy chaos so supposedly in germany they get really crazy weather anyway guys thank you very much for checking out ken's vlogs thanks for subscribing we're up to nine minutes now awesome talk to you guys later bye